The last problem for chapter 12 is 91, and it also deals with a colligative property. And this time we're doing also, I think, vapor pressure again. And we're dealing with a vapor pressure at 25 degrees Celsius of a solution, aqueous solution, meaning it's in water, of 5.5% NaCl by mass, assuming complete disassociation of the solute. Now, you have to take into account what the last phrase, assuming complete dissociation of the solute, is going to talk about right now. Our solute is NaCl, and NaCl is an ionic compound, so it's going to dissociate in water into Na plus molecules. You can't see that. Let's see. And so NaCl in solution will go into Na plus and Cl minus, right? So... Remember, we have to deal with the Van Hoff factor of 2 in this. So we have an I, and it's going to be 2. <coughs> and that's because NaCl is ionic and will dissociate. So remember, our other formula for vapor pressure is P equals XP, right? And the X, or chi, is mole fraction. Mole fraction times the pure, right? The, pure, the one with the solute times the mole fraction of the solution of times the pure of the solvent. And uh, I didn't give it to you, but it's in a table. Pure water is 23.78 torr. So to find the final vapor pressure, we need to find the X, really, because we know our P pure is going to be 23.78. So to find X, we have to start, which is mole fraction, right, is going to be moles of solute over total moles, which is moles of solute plus, plus moles of solvent, which is water, which is going to, that's going to be our mole fraction for solute. So in a 5.5% solution, we have, again, we're going to assume 5.5 grams of solute, which is NaCl, which is in 100 grams per 100 grams, right, of solution. So if 5.5 grams are NaCl, then the other percentage has to be the water, right? The solvent. And so when we do the math, that's, or what, 94.5 grams of water. So 5.5 grams of solute, 95.4 grams of water. Now we have to convert both of these to mole to get the denominator. So the first one, we're going to have 5.50 grams. Convert those to moles with the molar mass of 58.44 in one mole and so that's around 0 0.0941 moles of NaCl and then water we're gonna have 94.5 grams and we all know by now that water is around 18.1 grams per mole. So that's roughly 5.247 moles of water. Okay. Now, so we have moles of water, moles of solute. And that should be our x, right? But what do we have to take into account? The Van Hoff factor. So we have to multiply moles of... Oh, sorry. This was solvent, right? I'm always messing this up. Moles of solvent, we have to multiply which one by 2? The solute, right? So it's going to be the moles of water, the x... over moles of water plus two times moles of NaCl because it will disassociate. And remember, it's all about the number of particles. So we're going to have twice as many particles as we have moles because of NaCl. So when we do we plug in the numbers, we can get 
the mole fraction times the pure. So mole fraction of that times the pure. So our final pressure is about 23 torr. So again, we have to have moles of solvent over moles of solute plus moles of solvent, right, for total moles. The X is just what we're looking for. Total moles. And so we can take total moles, find that by finding moles of water plus two times the mole of the solute in this case because of the Van Hoff factor of two. And then we just take our final pressure times the mole fraction of solvent. That's the key of solvent. Okay. And it should be lower than you started with, right? It's vapor pressure lowering. So you know you did something wrong if your mole fraction is above one or you end up with a number bigger than 23.8, which is your pure of the solvent.